Hello everyone, it's me once again. Um, tomorrow is at CES 2019 and I managed to do some research and quite interestingly, Toruk, as you remember, I made a video about them. Uh, they're also, the team Toruk is also going to attend CES 2019 and they uh, recently released this very interesting video and um, I just want to share that video with you. And it's quite interesting. I think you're going to like it as well because it's something that I haven't seen so far personally. Maybe I'm wrong um, or maybe I'm right, but um, let's get on with the video. So here it goes. Alright, so this is a video clip uh, available from the official Turuk website. I'm just going to summarize the context actually because it's all spoken through Korean language. Now, uh, this person that you're seeing next to Laiku, the robot, is the is Mr. Chung Dong Su. He's the um, head or the CEO of um, Turuk, and he's basically saying that there's a lot of fear going on about um, what robot, uh, what's the out outcome of humanoid and uh, Bill Gates said that predicted in the future such things are going to happen and um, he pledged that like who is going to be a very friendly household robot so that's the main context um, but before we get on to the interesting video clip I just want you to draw the attention of a stomach of uh, the like robot now you can see that it's a chip, main chip board, or whatever you like to say, I'm not from IT side, but it looks like Raspberry Pi, but then again, if you look carefully, it has a lot of wires connected. So Raspberry Pi, I believe, has a one HDMI and power source and, and so on. I don't know, it might be a customized, but it shows, it's quite a well thoughtful, developed, crafted robot so far. Um, so let's get on with the actual clip. So here it goes. So I, I just deliberately turn off the volume, by the way, because yeah. So the robot is recognizing that. Well, you made something for him. Um, now you can stroke his head. Now check this out. The lady is taking a photo of him and he's posing. So he recognized that he's been someone's taking a photo of him. And when he does, when you do the selfie, he also does this cute pose as well and then lastly if you look carefully when you show him the monitor well sorry the screen mobile phone screen he recognizes he looks at it and he smiles and it's something I didn't expect to happen and um, like well I have seen some robots recently as I said like you saw from my previous video, I went to Incheon International Airport where a smart robot will guide you through the pass and then provide you information. But it's a bit dull, it's like very steady and still. But this is more like a humanoid, it recognizes the mobile phone. I don't know how uh, they did it, um, but um, I don't know how efficient, how quickly you recognize the rest of the mobile phones. But like what you're seeing here, he does this pose. And then when you show him the screen, I don't know how they managed to design the camera so that he could recognize the screen of a mobile phone as well. So it's quite interesting. Um, like what, what uh, Mr. Chung was saying here on his video clips that they've been re developing this robot for seven years. Well done for that. Um, it's something of a great robot fan. I didn't see this happening. Um, and quite excited about it. I'm sure they're going to come up with many other different uh, skills um, for this robot and quite exciting. It's something that you wouldn't expect from Vector. Maybe Vector there might recognize that you're taking a photo of him, him. Maybe Anki could do the similar thing. But so far, uh, this robot seems to be closer and closer to be of a perfect humanoid that we've been looking at for. And um, I have to say, I have to admit, I didn't expect this from, uh, I don't know how big uh, the company Toruk is, but they have done well. And I hope uh, for the CES 2019, which they, they told me that they're going to attend, I hope they become well known. Because if you look at the articles about CES 2019, main thing you, people you got to remember is talking about robot technology. It's, it's about time now, the technology is shifting towards the robotics. We had enough mobile phones, we had enough of Apple, 
and etc. It's heading towards robot now. So we're following the trend. So please uh, do subscribe my channel. Um, I'm going to try my best to provide you with those informations. And I want, always want to be ahead. I know all these tech gurus on YouTube are focusing about mobile phones. I mean, Samsung, for example, what I'm really uh, disappointed about is they're all talking about mobile phones most of the time. But when I went to Korea recently, LG seems to be ahead with all this humanoid robotic technology and so on. You'll be amazed how much LG come up with that technology and advance with those things. But I think the robotic technology is the way forward. Uh, so I want you guys to hang on with this channel. Um, I know I'm not going to buy all of the robots, but uh, I'll try to provide as much as information I can uh, and all the information as soon as I gather it. And this is one of the examples that I think uh, we should be excited and celebrate about of how robot uh, humanoid can become in the near future. Um, so anyway, so I hope this gave you a bit of an interesting information. Please do subscribe to Toruk's channel as well. Um, I know they don't upload that much, uh, but I'm sure they will as time goes by. And um, you'll learn a lot of things from this robot as well. And how uh, developers come up with all these tricks is just amazing. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope uh, this video you find it useful. Anyway, all the best. This is LJP. Bye bye.